Hello babes, welcome back to my channel. So I'm filming another video for you guys today. I'm filming a fall haul. Just made up that song right now. But uh, by the way, this is what I literally slept in. I love sleeping in super warm sweaters. I have flannel, do you guys see this? Like flannel pants on, which is almost the same feeling as this. Then I have a cotton blanket, but don't think of like a cotton sheet blanket. I have like a cotton, really thick, almost wool kind of blanket. And then I have this really chunky comforter on top. <laughs> Guys, I am in my warm cocoon and it's like, it cannot get hot enough. You know what I'm saying? It just cannot get hot enough. I've always been like that. I love my warm little bed. But the problem with that is I get into a hibernation mode right now, you guys. It's definitely a season that tests you and really makes you like see if you can push yourself or not. It really, really does. We're going to be doing a BLT, baby. B to the bacon, L to the lettuce, T to the tomato. That's right. And a part of me is like, do I want an egg white in there? You know what I'm saying? Like a belt, a B-E-L-T, or do I just want to do like a classic one? I have my pan getting all nice and hot over here for me. So these are the um, bacon pieces I'm gonna be using, these bacon rounds. It's by President's Choice and it just literally says bacon rounds. This is what they look like. Honey, you better sizzle. Work. What I love about bacon, and I think a lot of people don't know, is that at the back of the package it might say if you use two slices, it's like 200 calories. But don't forget guys, if you're cooking it in the oil and you let it like really soak down, I like to use paper towel after and really take out the oil. The calories is not that much um, compared to that because it's the oil and the fat that carries a ton of calories though. So. I have a little bowl over here. We're actually going to be doing our egg white instead of our microwave. It's just gonna be easier or else if I use this pan, I have to clean it first, do the egg, the egg is gonna get oil on it. So this is just another quick and easy way you can make your eggs, especially when you're doing a sandwich. So I grabbed my olive oil spray and I just kind of rubbed a little bit with a paper towel around the bowl. Separate, I really don't want this to fall. I separate the yolk like this and I go back and forth. Come on, that little piece is being so stubborn. It always does that. We're gonna grab some salt. Whisk it a bit. It's just gonna make it a little bit more fluffy inside of the microwave. There, my microwave is really, really like crazy. Like it's really powerful. So I'm just gonna try like a good 30 seconds to go slowly, guys. On my old place, I could do a minute, but just kind of go slowly and see. The next thing we're gonna need is some um, romaine lettuce. Look how beautiful leafy green this is. Like, oh, love it. Love the color of nature. Um, and then we have a tomato, so we're just going to cut a couple slices of that. I heard you. I use the white thin sandwich slices by Wonder. So two of these is going to be 140. Yeah, it's, it's already cooked. We're going to take this guy out. And I have my plate over here set up with my paper towel. This is what I do. This is the oil that's come from those two, two pieces of bacon. You're not consuming any of this, and you're also not consuming any of the excess oil that's on there. That is a ton of calories that you're taking out of your bacon. That's why I always love to stress to people, bacon's not as high calories as you think. Okay, so grabbing a little bit of butter and putting it on each side. I love butter, and honestly, it just adds so much flavor like how can something so simple add so much flavor so my butter is vegan by the way i don't know if you guys care to know but it is i just freshly washed this my romaine tiny but i just wanted to get some egg inside of there bacon down thank god i did two slices like look how tiny these get you guys i love tomato guys i love fresh tomato cooked tomato but i think i like raw tomato better than cooked tomato i like to cut all of my sandwiches in half because i'm still a child i also wanted to show you guys i almost forgot to take my probiotic so i'm taking probiotic uh, recently as of recently and i tried these good belly probiotic shots and this one is vanilla and chamomile flavor and it is dairy free i'm also trying the kefir the liberté um uh, kefir one the strawberry one in this container but I'm noticing as I'm having this one, I don't really do well with dairy in general. This is the other one I'm having. But I find it bloats me. We're just making our coffee, but I find that it bloats me. And dairy just has that effect on me. That's why I kind of ripped dairy as much as I could from my life. Um, <laughs> wow, that sounded really dramatic. I just ripped you out of my life because I could not stand you. No, like I'll have like cheese and stuff like that, but 
I noticed with that one, I don't feel as good. This one, I have like a flat tummy. I don't feel super bloated and it tastes good. It's 60 calories for the shot. I take it in the morning before I do anything else. I'm also doing cashew milk is the new thing that I'm doing. I'm still using like my almond milk, but I decided to get this one since it was really low in calorie. And this one is 35 calories per um, cup, just like my other almond milk is. I find this one, you really taste that nutty flavor at the end. I will include my probiotic, of course, because it is 60 calories. But this is what we're having, our beautiful BLT sandwich, our coffee. And I'm going to finish this shot before I start eating anything else. And I've just really been enjoying it. And we will be back for lunch. So I really like this, what I eat today, actually, because it shows you guys what I kind of buy when I'm having a crazy busy week. And I cooked kind of over the weekend. I believe I made my soup on Sunday. We're going to be having that a little bit later for dinner because I feel like it's really good to have kind of before bed. It's nice and warm and everything and you guys have been wanting that recipe so for lunch though right now i have these leftover cucumbers that i really want to use up i don't want them to go bad and it really bothers me when i like can't find a way to use things up so what i picked up here from longos are these falafel and it actually came with um hummus like the sauce on the side but i'm not going to be using the sauce so there was more balls of this but i just ate half of it this whole container, it says it's 270. I actually want to make a falafel recipe. So I do pick things like this up when I'm just having a crazy busy week and I still want to eat fairly healthy and balanced. And then I have a Greek salad that I also got from them. I bought two of these because if you buy two, you get them for $7. There's Kalamata olives, there's feta cheese, um, your greens, you have some red onion. I don't put all of this because I tend to get bloated. Onion really just bloats me and it's like very aesthetic. Then there's um, little slices of tomato or little grape tomatoes over here. But I actually have a piece of tomato inside my fridge, so I'm going to use that up as well. But how good does this look already? And funny enough, it's a Greek salad, but it doesn't have any cucumber in it. So this is another really quick and easy idea if you guys are at a 9 to 5 and you want to grab something quickly from the grocery store. They have the pit on the interior, so what I like to do is grab my knife and kind of shave each individual one off yes i do each individual one I like to cut my grape tomatoes in half sometimes they literally squirt at my face or at my outfit and i'm like really like thanks for that i really love falafel and i do really want to make that recipe on my own because i know i can make it a little healthier and i will not be frying mine i will be baking them and i honestly think it's gonna taste just as good I'm gonna wash this cucumber Okay, we're gonna add everything else in. So I'm leaving just a little bit left over in the package. I'm not using the full entire thing. Toss this guy with our dressing. You can warm these up if you guys want to, but I just like to have them just like this. I like to cut them in half. It's kind of spreading them apart so that you have more instead of it looking like you're not eating that much. I'm the type of person I do eat with my eyes. If you guys are like that too, or if you guys are new to the calorie counting journey that we are all on, probably be one of those where you know you kind of are afraid of your portions and they're making you really sad. It looks like you're not eating a lot. So this is kind of another tip that I have, cutting up things and making it look like it's a lot more. And again, this is like really good for on the go. Moms that are super busy, if you guys have a really crazy busy week, super quick and easy. And sometimes I don't cook at home and this is kind of what I eat. Dinner, dinner. Let me show you guys this gorgeous fall soup that I made. Like, does this look like fall or what? So I cooked this on Sunday. Yes, I didn't film it for you guys, but I'm going to have the entire recipe down below. It's super quick and easy. Honestly, you cannot mess this recipe up. My honest truth is that sometimes I just like to cook like in silence and peace and I was just having like a really lazy Sunday. It's always this thing like it's frozen better than fresh, right? They were actually saying that frozen spinach and frozen fruits and veggies in general actually keep their nutrients more once they're frozen. Buying frozen fruits and veggies, you're going to save so much money it is not even funny. Like a bag is $5 of blueberries, meanwhile a little tiny container is $5. It's definitely soup season and you guys are going to love this one. The other thing I want to mention is typically in the Portuguese soup we use our um, Portuguese sausage which is called chiris and um, it's basically pork sausage obviously and that is a lot more fatty. So what I've done to replace it is I just had some turkey sausages that I actually bought. You can honestly have this soup vegetarian if you guys don't want to use any meat it's totally fine 
but if you do want to add sausage you could add pork sausage it's just gonna be a lot more calories whereas these guys were really super low calorie it's super comforting really nice and warm of course for the fall season it obviously depends how big your bowl and how big your portion and how much you're putting of each ingredient my advice is to use a um, app like my fitness pal or my net diary which allows you to do a recipe it will ask you in the end like split this up into 10 bowls and then you guys can put it into 10 containers and you know how much calories is the entire pot and you know how many calories are specifically in that container. So I really wanted to include it in a video so that you guys didn't have to wait too long for it. Oh, by the way, if you guys have not watched my latest vlog, make sure you guys do. It has my pumpkin spice latte in that video that you guys wanted and it also has my banana bread that you guys were waiting. So if you guys missed that video, make sure you guys go back and watch it. If you guys are not following me on IG, by the way, it is at Steph G Macedo, at Steph G Macedo probably gonna edit that out but let me give you guys a little bit of an update i feel like i haven't in a while so my weight loss journey has been very like woo, 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 but i'm still doing what ain't a day to lose weight because this is a journey i'm still on my weight loss journey and as you guys know i gained weight and i feel like ever since i've moved in my journey's been very like floppy focusing on other parts of my life or there's just been too much going on or something but my weight loss definitely went on the back burner and i told you guys that i did gain about like 10 to 12 pounds and then i lost like some of that and then gained some of it and then lost some of that again so the whole point of what eight in a day is to lose weight is a whole journey i'm never i never want to come on here and be like this week was perfect this week was perfect this week was perfect because that's not how it always goes on a weight loss journey you know it was so much easier me and amy were actually talking about this it's so much easier in the beginning. You have this fire. Over time, that fire runs out and you have to kind of, for those of you who have been on this for like as long as I have and you guys have been following along, you're probably like, oh my gosh, she's going through it too. Like, I thought I was crazy. You're not crazy, girl. Like, the fire burns out and you have to create that fire yourself. And I remember talking to you guys about that. And going to the gym has just been hard. I went back and I was feeling great. And then... It just kind of died down again and i feel like i was so focused on work and it's sometimes really hard to balance when work is really busy fall and winter is a massive challenge no one wants to make it to the gym in the winter and it's just so much harder i go into this like hibernation mode what i've noticed for myself that's going to help me a lot is doing at-home workouts if you can't make it out there then there's no excuse why you can't be doing it here and if you can make an hour of time for this or an hour to go home decor shopping, then I think you can make an hour to work your butt off. Like, you know, I'm not going back to where I started, that's for sure. I just wanted to chat with you guys a little bit and just let you know, like, this thing is not perfect. If you guys have been doing this from when I've been doing it and you're still going strong and doing it, good for you. You know what I mean? Like, all power to you. And I'm so proud of all of you guys that have been on this journey because I know how hard it is. I know how hard you guys are working especially if you guys were heavier than I were, if you guys lost more than I did, like honestly, congratulations. Like that's that's really huge and you probably don't hear people like I'm so proud of you all the time and I honestly am, especially if I was some sort of inspiration for you guys during all that and I hope I was. I honestly think that's one of my goals is to really just inspire people but I also don't wanna come on here and be like, everything is perfect, I'm losing weight week by week. That's not the case, that's just not the case. I'm human and I'm going through this thing, you know what I mean? And I have other struggles too, so. But yeah, maybe I need to work a little less and maybe I need to work out a little more. Work a little less, work out a little more, you know what I'm saying? I still love to do these what I eat in a day to lose weight because it's my weight loss journey. It's what I'm doing to lose weight. Just because I don't lose that pound or that pound and a half or those two pounds does not mean I'm not on a weight loss journey and I'm on this with you guys, honestly. Hopefully all of these videos are helping you guys out and just remember that it's not always going to be perfect and don't give that number on the scale. Even with me, don't let it like take over all of the progress that you've made. You know, I constantly remind myself that thing is just a number. And everything that you've done up until this point is so much, holds so much more value than that damn number on there. And I did an at-home workout last night and I felt so good and my arms are like sore and everything. And I'm just slowly getting back at it because it's just, 
where I'm at. I think influencers like us that are on these weight loss journeys and have these audiences watching us, there's a lot of pressure. Why am I not at 125? Why am I not at 120 right now? Well, cause I'm not. I don't know what's going on in your lives and that's why you can't judge where anybody is at, so. I have a funny story, guys. So I decided to go out and grab my Starbucks. So I did it on my phone and I'm like, I'm gonna just do my mobile order. I got it and then I'm like, like random craving. My, so this is like something that I consider my cheat whenever I want something really sweet but like a bad sweet. I know you guys have like some locations in the US but not a lot. You see that right there? Like this is our coffee spot, okay? Like this is what we are known for. This is my favorite from Tim Hortons, a peanut butter cookie. I think I have to save that guy in the fridge. It was like so random. I was not even thinking of this. I'm gonna go and enjoy this, you guys, and I love to dip it inside of my coffee. I take my coffee, um, this is a medium coffee with two milk, one sugar. That's how I take it. Because then I actually should make these at home myself so that I can make them a little bit more healthy and dip them into my own coffee. Oh, we're at 94K, you guys. Oh my God, we're getting close to 100. Ooh, this looks cool. Can I do like a wave? Ooh, yeah. If you guys are not subscribed to my channel, make sure you guys do. And also click that little bell right next to the subscribe button so that you guys get notified for all of my brand new videos. Make sure you also give this video a big thumbs up you know what i'm saying give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to follow me on ig at steph g macedo hopefully you guys enjoyed all of these recipes leave some love down below some comments if you guys want to see more of these videos and don't forget my soup recipe is down below for y'all so don't worry <laughs> watch yourself i didn't forget y'all thank you guys so much for watching and i will see all of my beautiful babes in my next video